like that, I don't need to make it. Yeah, it sounds good to me, too. Yes, yes. I think you've got talking to the top at the minute. Yeah, yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Can you hear you? Yeah, yeah. I might check one, two. Oh, here you go. Hold that where you want it? Yeah, bad air, but I need it. This one ain't for the radio. This one's just for the radio. So that's my ladies that say come home. What's happening, people, and welcome back to the Cheer Up Charlie podcast. We're back. The we're reunion. Back. We've been we've been away for a for fair a few months. We did one, and I thought that's enough. Yeah. But we're back for, and we're going to try and completed it. We're going to try and be steady. Try yeah. and get out the content. Be consistent. Yeah. Gosh. But we're going to start again, and we're going to be quite uh, basic and boring. But we're going to get the fans involved again. Yeah. We're that's what it's about. Fans questions. That's what it's about. Yeah. Are you boys both ready? Let's do it. Mate, let's get stuck into it. Let's go. Feels so good to be back. Right, lads. We're going to start really, uh, really quite deep and meaningful first year. We're going to go for a question from Kieran.g. Big up, Kieran. And he wants to know, how much do you boys pay for your haircuts? <laughs> um, I've been cutting my hair for the last year since lockdown. What you Show us. Go on. Oh. Cool. You did well, that yourself? No, I didn't do this one myself. I paid huh. 20 quid for that. <laughs> <laughs> so 20 quid. <laughs> 20, pound then, yeah. 20 right, quid. Yeah. In lockdown, I bought some clippers because obviously the bulbs were shut. Mate, I saved about, I don't know, 200 quid. Yeah. Bosh. Little, little skin fade in that. Yeah, to Chops be fair, you was doing all right and you was doing dad's hair. I was doing dad's hair. That wasn't looking all yeah, right. Yeah, he didn't, yeah, he stitched him up, but yeah. yours was looking decent. Um, yeah, one of my best pals cuts my hair, so yep. I, get, I get mates rates. Big up I Fletch. I get sorted out. At Big Fletch up Fletch. Yeah, Fletch. Big up Fletch. Every time. Not gonna bait him out for the price. I'm not gonna bait him out now because I don't know what so, he's charging. Some of, some of the other boys might not get in the <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know what he's charging everyone else. So, but he sorts me out. Keep this is from Lewis Fury. You can headline Red and Leeds in 2022, but you have to sell fast late from now. Would you do it? I, I think I wouldn't do it. That's a cracking question. That uh, is a good question. I wouldn't do it because I feel like you need to earn a right to headline a festival of that caliber. And if you're, if you're isolated in order to do it, I feel like, one, people aren't going to know you because, obviously, you're clearly not at a point to headline that festival yet. Yeah. And two, I just I feel like, yeah, I just, I'd want to like work hard and earn my stripes first and get the call-up from Reading and Leeds and say, we want you to headline the festival. Yeah, that's just what I think. What do you reckon? Yeah, well, I think we'll headline it one day anyway. So to, to isolate for a whole year... And that's to, a long to time to as well. I've just about done 10 days the other week. And fucking hell, that was long. Yeah, I think we'll do it... We're, We'll headline that festival one day anyway, no doubt. So to to isolate for a whole year to to guarantee it, nah, not nah, not worth not it. it nah. Nah. We'll do it anyway, no doubt, no love, doubt. Love the confidence. I'll, I'll back it as well. I'll yeah, thank it. you, Chaz. Cheers. Yeah, Cheers. Cheers, Chaz. Well done, right. Uh, right. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> lads, this is this is a bit topical at the moment. Yeah. Any Olympic event you could start training for now and take place in Paris 2024 Olympics. What one do you reckon you'd more most likely be able to get on the team for? I think you've got more chance here because you're gonna. You, would you compete for Ireland or Team GB? No, it's, it doesn't matter. It's about getting a medal. I oh, was it getting a medal? Is it? Yeah, in it. It's Olympic. You can. And get. A, and I'll get, get a, medal. a medal. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so it's irrelevant anyway. I you thought you was like getting on the team. Oh, getting in the team. Yeah. I yeah, know. Oh, I'd definitely go and I'd be Irish for that hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah. Because I feel like I just feel like there's. there's well, what are you going for? More athletes. Um. What would I do? Yeah, yeah, what sport? Because you did say beforehand, when we were looking at these questions, 800 metres. What's the longest you can run before it gets to a marathon? Jesus Christ. Like You can do like 10,000 metres, can't you? I reckon, I reckon I'll be in with a shot, mate. Yeah, what, I'm avoiding meters, any then? form of... Car- it's, not, it's not like too impressive. But uh, this is what I'm saying. If, if you trained, though, yeah, every day, you've got three years. Yeah, Yeah, I hear that. And you train every day and you, like to a strict schedule. Yeah. Now, to be fair, these lot of training so, feet. I'm going to say, yeah, they've trained for years yeah. already. Work for a year. What's the best 5K time you're going to get? What I could get? Yeah. Mate, I reckon you'd get low 20s, but still. Oh, no, I easily do low 20s. I do low 20s now. Yeah, yeah but you, well, maybe, what, 19 minutes or something like that? That's no. still not that's still not quite, mate. My fire's doing it in like 13 minutes. Yeah, best 5K I've these ever done. Lot, these lot sprint it. Yeah. yeah. Best mate. 5K I've ever done is 28 minutes. Yeah. I think 10K, mine's 27. 10, 10K, world record, 26 minutes 11 seconds <laughs> 10k 10k so they're running 30, all the time 13 minutes less, per 5k yeah that's mad but i think you need to go a bit niche so you know yeah, the ones like that like people like oh I, I wasn't really sure that was a sport you know like there's been you seen like the bmx like frisbee or something like that a question yeah. softball 
Yeah. Frisbee. Frisbee. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. Something is like, oh, is that Olympic sport? <laughs> <laughs> what I'll do, yeah, just quickly, is archery. Yeah. Archery, yeah. I'm, s- I'm, I'm yeah, sick at really archery. I'm, si- I'm, I'm sick at archery. Sorry, far back. Do you know what, as well? You know, um, I'm going a bit deep here, but you know the gymnastics beam? Mm. Yeah. Do you know where they've got a balance on? That looks quite wide, doesn't it? Yeah. They said the other day when I was watching it, no wider than your iPhone. Fuck off. Swear to God, they said it's no wider. No way. I've got wide feet. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way I'm balancing on that. They're doing flips on it and everything. Yeah, man, that's mental. So this is what I'm saying. This is what I this is what I was saying with running. I feel like obviously athletically nowhere near their calibre. But that's at least I know I can run. Do you know what I mean? I wouldn't have to do you know what I mean? Need more skills. I wouldn't have to yeah, I wouldn't yeah, have I to pra- I just have to work really hard and but again, is your body at a certain point like does it reach a certain point where you go, you can't run or you should or, have practiced a bit before? Yeah, when you was eight. Yeah. And not start. So basically, all I'm going to say is, I want no more conversation around it. I just need a, an event oh. from everyone, just straight off the I'm cuff. I'm doing archery. Archery. Yeah, straight up. Shot put. Come back to me. What are you doing? No, I want to do. You know when they dance in the water <laughs> with their feet? Synchronized swimming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah I'll, I'll I'll I've, got, I've, got, I've got big legs as well. Yeah. So it'd be like all <laughs> my nice yeah, just my hairy big calves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flowing <laughs> yeah. in the water. It'd be a special. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do so. Yeah, I enjoy running. So I don't think I'd ever. I think maybe maybe I'd bring down the the length. Oh, shut up! Are you mad? I was just gonna say like running because endurance. I feel like I could run oh, far. Right. I couldn't like two hundred meters. I reckon you could it? train to sprint four hundred no. meters. Even if you got to your absolute best, you could do yeah. it for running. You still wouldn't make the cut. No way, no. mate. Th- these people done 20, 26, uh, 10 k in twenty six minutes. I ca- mate, it's ridiculous. I um when I went, I'll be for the boards. I didn't lose a ping pong match once. Oh, ping pong there. There for a week. There a whole there week. For, there for a week. week. Yeah, I wasn't even like Undefeated a of champion. Yeah, oh, volleyball. Months. Volleyball would be a good one. I reckon I, reckon I could have a go Do you know what would be decent? And again, this brings back to college, water polo. I watched yeah. that the other day. Class. That is, I, I think you could get good at that because I don't think they've got a team GB. Either. That's what I'm saying. You, you Like you were saying, the niche games, innit? It's yeah. the ones where there's but not... still, I feel like the, the talent in that would be even better because it's so niche. You, that's like, you wouldn't just randomly come across that when you're younger. Water polo, if we all practice every week for the next three, three years, years. I we're in it. Nah, mate. I think they're so good, these people. Nah, I'm backing myself at water polo. Paris, I'm coming for you. <laughs> is that what an it? Paris, Paris I'm there. Yeah. Yeah. Is, yeah. Nice. Um, oh, cool. Yeah, do you know what? I'll hop in the pool with you, Chaz. Yeah, we're water gonna, polo. Gonna yeah. Do you want to join the team or not? Are you going to stick with I feel like you'd be a good keeper. I'll, I'll do it, yeah. I'll, <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll back the goalkeeper of water polo. So if you had to do a water polo team of famous people, us three are in it. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm famous, but I... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you boys. You definitely yeah. are, aren't you? Us three are in it. We've got our four water polo players who's joining the team. Um, Michael Jordan. 100%. He's in. Motivational tool. He's oh, yeah, I like it. You're yeah, probably yeah, going to yeah. just go LeBron James as well. You're going to probably... No, you probably can only have one person from an area. Or uh, so okay. Our, our basketball player is Michael Jordan. I'd have Anthony Joshua. Tall, big, strong. Yeah, yeah. nice. That's a great shot. So you've got AJ. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Charlie Wilcox. Myself. Reese. We need one more. No, we, we need two more. Two, two more. more. So we'll go from the music music industry. Who are you picking? Musician. Um, we'll go a musician, musician, and a football player. Like I feel like this wouldn't benefit the team, but I'd like to just sort of knock around, like train with like Kanye West. Oh, like <laughs> Kanye West on the team. All right, Kanye West. I feel like for AJ, the... Michael Jordan. No wait, Ka- who, is, is there any? No, we'll put Kanye West on the team. A football player, you want you want Ronaldo really, or a keeper? You want a GK, didn't you? We could go. I'm 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 GK. No, you in goal? Yeah. Don't start hit, mate. Uh, he just made the team. <laughs> <laughs> he's given up archery for this. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah all right, cool. So you probably want Ronaldo in it because he's a winner. I yeah. think Kanye West can be put to the side. I feel like I just, wanted to, I just wanted to spend a day with him. Yeah. I don't think he'd win you anything. He can start on the bench. Uh, who, who? He can be manager. Yeah. I feel like Michael Jordan's got to be manager, though. If we need him on the pitch, mate. Player manager, Dennis Wise vibes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's, sharing, he's sharing it with uh, Kanye. Yeah. Kanye's manager. Right, who's coming from the music industry? Who is a Who is like a. An you know, athletic musician, who? We need a bit of like a shit house on the team. Yeah. So we're gonna put Liam Gallagher in there. Oh, you're just gonna be dunking. Like yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 He's just gonna be yeah, yeah, yeah. rowdy. Liam, yeah. what are you doing? He's a far guy. Yeah. Yeah. Him, yeah. Bashing the ball there. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. That, yeah. He's just always in the sim bin, but we need him. Yeah. We need yeah, him. Yeah. No one wants to play on the wind up. Yeah yeah. 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 I hear it. I hear it. Michael Jordan and him don't get on, but when we win the gold medal, they're gonna be best mates. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. That's a. Do you know what? That's a good little team, that. Great team, and I'm glad we got to the. We got yeah. to that sport as well. I don't know what nationality we're going to be playing. That's not be like an all stars team, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. what it will be. Yeah. All right, cool. Great. Right, moving on, lads. Boxers, briefs, commando. 
It's got to be boxers. And also, can I just say on the boxers front, it can't even be the loose boxers. It's just got to be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. like the Calvin Klein's yeah, or yeah. something like Calvin's, that. Calvin's, yeah. I yeah. think anyone wearing briefs is a bit bit odd. Wait, briefs, are, are they they're like, like wife fronts? What the Come hell? on, though. You're wearing, you're going come on, like, either because you, you enjoy it or you've got no boxers. Yeah. You've got no boxers, yeah. So I think in order it goes boxers, commando, commando briefs. briefs. <laughs> yeah. 100%. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hundred yeah, percent. I'm, 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 I'm not rocking briefs or loose boxes either. Oh, loose boxes. Nah. But also with, with briefs, like what? Sometimes what's the back mine, saying? Mine goes. <laughs> is the back? Is the cut? Is it's it covering the cheeks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or is it? Or what? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Sorry to. No offense to anyone that wears briefs out there, but it's not. Uh, briefs that's not the one. one. No. Nah. 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 Right, lads. Pineapple on pizza. Yes, or we've chatted this every day, haven't we? No, yes. I'm all for it. Because, mate, Hawaiian is, I think, it's, not, it's not my first choice, but I don't think there's nothing wrong with it, really. I'm Some straight people up, are so I, against it. I would, depending on where I'm getting a pizza from, if I'm getting it from like your standard um, Papa John's yeah, Domino's, Domino's I'm going to get Hawaiian. Really? Bosh. That's your go to? Yeah, yeah, straight up. You, you're against it, aren't you? Yeah, so you're all for it. You're a bit. Mate, that's, his, that's his go to pizza. That's yeah, my go to. Bov. Yeah, I don't really. I'm not that. bothered. I really don't rate that. And what is it? You don't like? You don't like it? You just I love pineapple. Don't put it on a pizza. Really? If I gave you a spag bowl with pe- uh, pineapple on it, what would you say? What? Yeah, that don't go though. If what? I gave you uh... the pineapple, don't go with pizza. Yeah, it, do, it clearly does because it's fucking on every. Any, single... Anyone that's Italian. Oh right god, are comments, we doing that? Write in the comments and let them see their view. That's, oh, what are you talking dish. about? Spag bowl? You're probably making it with fucking dolmio. You're not making your yeah, homemade. Uh, get, do you know and, what I mean? and you're definitely oh, putting. Make you're definitely slapping a load of cheddar cheese on it at the end as well. No, only parmesan. Oh, that's probably. That's he pretty... has ketchup with it. With yeah. his spag bowl, hundred percent. Brown sauce. All over no, it. <laughs> no um, yeah, I think I think pineapple on pizza, naughty. Yeah, Did I'm you say for it. That question is the most mixed I think, yeah, opinion. Yeah, yeah. Because people are either like they're on it or they just hate it. Yeah, yeah. It's like my mind. No, like. But I'm, I'll, I'll eat most foods and I'm not fussy. But like, if there's a Hawaiian pizza and there's pepperoni, I'll have pepperoni all day long. Yeah, yeah. But I wouldn't be like, oh my god, it's disgusting. What are you doing? No, I hear. The what only f- the only food I don't like in I just don't think raisins should be in anything. Do you know what? I hate raisins. Chocolate raisins. Oh, you're oh. fucking sick. You like them? Absolutely blind. It's a waste of chocolate putting them over raisins. Oh, are you so joking? Nice. Do you no, like right. raisins as they are? No. I tell you what I do like <laughs> is white chocolate with the cranberry in the middle. Is it cranberry in the middle? I know what you mean like when yeah, you yeah. get like the uh, the kids snacks. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff, yeah. Like yeah. 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 Remy used to like them. I love them. Yeah. Um, you mentioned Marmite. Yeah. Yes or no? Yeah. Love all it. day. Love yeah. it. All day. Love Marmite. Love it. All day. Melted butter on a little crumpet. Oh, crumpet. Come on. Sick through button. Bang. Come on. We got. We got a little. Question here from Little Bunks. Nice. Question Little is, Bunks. who do you look up to in the rap game, and what drives you to create music? In the rap game, um, I Are think doing current or just ever. Just ever, I'd say. I think people. I think we've made it well known in the past. Like we were massive fans of like East Coast hip hop, um, and that was like one of our first loves in music, and what we grew up on, and what we were raised on. So Biggie's, Wu Tang's, Big Daddy Kane's, Jay Z, Nas, Tribe Called Quest, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so I think musically, that yeah, whole scene they, and era. Yeah, exactly. They inspire us and influence our mm. music. Um, Do you know what? Like, for me, it's like in terms of actually what inspires me and drives me because I because I'm obviously a producer. Like, I love everyone that Reese said, but in terms of actually who inspires me, it'd probably be like Timberland, Swiss Beats, yeah. Dre, Pharrell, Dilla and all them. Like, yeah, just yeah. like the classic producers. I, don't, I wouldn't really say like I feel inspired when I listen to and 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 also as well in the in the rap game if you're talking about like UK as well people like Getz and Kano mm. and even Mike Skinner um, they're like massive influencers on us as well as well as everyone from like people like Alex Turner and yeah the rest of them yeah yeah and Oasis and all that sort of stuff as well so it's not just hip hop or whatever that we look up to um, but obviously they've pl- played a massive part but yeah mm. the UK scene has been as influential to me anyway as a as a writer mm. um, as the US scene definitely do you think if we stuck into one genre we would be m- more successful than yeah yeah I that? do think so yeah I do as well but I, yeah but I do think as well I don't think we'd be being true to ourselves if we did nah that, exactly that and I think if, if we were like well we're only going to make one type of music I think you'd very quickly get bored of making music as well because you'd be like mm. fucking hell yeah. I, know you, I know you're not about this because I, I, like you both said like you, you flit in and out of different genres and you can do a lot, of, a lot of different genres very well, but if, for whatever reason, they come to you and we're like, right, pick a genre, stick with it. What genre would you pick? Drill. 
<laughs> oh my god this is going a bit deep now and you don't have to answer if you don't want to but do you think that's maybe a problem of the music industry that they're stuck in this whole you've got to be pigeonholed Pigeon into hold. a genre why well, can't you just be like i enjoy that music i like that vibe i like the sound of that and we'll go with it and we'll back it and we like it or why does it have to be oh we don't know is it indie is it rap but i think it? i think there's artists now that are sort of coming out and emerging and even uh i think there was i think it, the industry and just life goes in cycles do you know what i mean mm. and i think there's people that came out like the lily allen's jamie t's and the streets and that sort of era that was mm. sort of like we're gonna do what we want and you can't quite put us in a yeah in, in a, a bracket in a, yeah do you know what i mean and, and then i think everything sort of gets put back in its place everything's like right you're indie you're hip-hop your dance yeah and you've got to, got to break that mold again and then get out to and i think people are doing that i think slow tie is a great example he'll yeah. hop from one thing to another and i feel like people who do that well they stand the test of time as well i like completely agree pushing boundaries a little bit with the genres they're making the beat and the music and the production and everything that's just the canvas to tell the stories on do you know yeah, what i mean yeah, so yeah, yeah. why would you want to do that on the same genre on no, the same exactly. thing for every tune i don't subconsciously like make a tune and think like I wouldn't make it for live, no. but obviously, like I do think we, we think about it. Innit? And you so have to think some, about some it, of really. them, you know, straight away. As soon as you get it, like when we made higher, yeah. as soon as you had that ding ding, we we're like, this is gonna be fucking mega. As soon as we play this live, it's gonna go off. Go off, yeah, yeah. straight away. And some tunes, you go, this isn't. This is gonna be great live, but it's not gonna be because everyone's gonna be moshing or mm. going mad. This is gonna be the moment in the show where everyone sat down, everyone's silent, and they've got their lighters up or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mate, it's a it's a show, like our, our live thing. It's not like. We're performing our tunes. We want, we want to actually give people a, yeah. a show that that you've got the moments where you can mosh pit and you've got the moments where you just sit back and take in the tunes and that. So that is, uh, who asked that question? Little Bunks. Little Bunks, you've done well there. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. question, Little Bunks. Do you yeah. want to tell the story about a nightclub and a tune? That's the only reason why I'm bringing it in. Is when we went to Vegas. Oh, yeah, that was naughty. Do you want to tell that story? No, I'll let you tell it. Do you know the story? You've got to say the first, the first bit, though. About, about, um, all the way up. All the way up. Yeah, I do know the story. Yeah, so, yeah, first time we went to Vegas, all the way up was our tune. Everyone was singing it. It was rinsed out there. That was, like, the, the tune. And we were obsessed with that song until, basically, the next time we went to Vegas. First night back in Vegas for the second time, get to Dre's nightclub, and they were like, it's 50 quid to get in. And we were like, oh, that's a little bit more expensive. In fact, I don't even think we thought. We were just so gassed. We were like... It wasn't too after, we'll we were like, that's why it was yeah. a little bit more expensive. It said yeah. on like, the posters, like special guests. Special guests, yeah. So we were like, sick. We get in there, Floyd Mayweather's there with all his boys. Jeez. We go and get some drinks and everyone starts gathering around the stage. And we're like, what the fuck is that like, going on? Because it's a nightclub like, and yeah. everyone's huddled around the stage. Literally, nothing can stop me. No I'm right. all the way up. Drops the first song we hear in Vegas and Fat Joe comes out and performs no it right. live. Yeah. Fucking love it, mate. Right. <coughs> this could be aimed at Reese. Because you had a little rant on Instagram the other day, which I'm sure most of your fans saw. Love Island, discuss. Oh yeah, I'll tell you what it is about Love Island, yeah. I'll tell you what it is, is that when it was first on, not first on ever, but this season, when it first come on, I genuinely like left the room when it was on. I was like, I can't watch this shit. Like, it's just annoying. I don't want to waste my time yeah. watching this. And then eventually you sort of catch the like last five, ten minutes while like my girlfriend's watching it. And you're like, oh, what, are they coupled up together now, are they? Yeah, yeah, And then a week later goes by, and then you're watching half an hour of it. And then a week after that, you're like, fucking... I'm like, Liam, bruv, what are you fucking <laughs> doing, man? Why? What are you doing, bruv? L Millie's waiting there for you. And then you're in, you're in. Yeah, and now yeah, yeah. I'm in. Now you're in. He picked me up for the gym the other day, and I had something to do, so I was got to quickly get something upstairs. See him walk through. And he said hello to my girlfriend. And he's literally going, oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, my God. Did you see Liam last yeah. night on Love Island? I was thinking, it. Jesus. And yeah, and Becca's like, oh, my God, in it. And it, me and fucking Rach and Becca on the group chat, like, oh, my, what's going on? Oh, my <laughs> God. Cass can't take Tyler back. Fucking hell. What's happened to me? What's your opinion, Chaz? He loves like, it. I liked it from day one. Like, <laughs> I, I love it. I yeah. love it. I can't I, lie. I, but I didn't give it that whole, like, I'd be texting recently. He's like, I can't even sit in the same room. Yeah, I yeah, swear yeah. to I'm God. I'm sat in the kitchen by myself. And now my, it's like, he's sending me, like, me. My tune changed. Yeah, yeah. My tune changed. He's watching After Sun. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, I am. A few minutes later. Are you serious? Get out. Get out. Oh, but Teddy, give it to Teddy. Teddy. Just by himself. Yeah. Five minutes later. Now, because literally, after Casa Amora. Eleven minutes later. All for it, you should get back with him. But you're not forgiving Liam. Make your mind up, girls. Have a bit of consistency. Question sent in to the fans. I think this was your question you wanted added to <laughs> <laughs> I sent this one in for myself. Yeah. 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 I don't know what's happened. Right, we'll move on. Right, lads. You can only watch three films for the rest of your life. What three films are they? And we're not going to discuss this one. We're going to go straight off the bat. No, wait. I've got, to, I've got to just put something out there. Okay, we'll discuss this one. Just quickly, yeah. 
three films when I'm by myself because obviously if I can only watch three films again and Ren wants to watch a film can I not watch a film with her I'd say by yourself are your favourite three films yeah, what's your favourite three films yeah, I'll do mine I think Will Smith by the way that's yeah. it I only watch Will Smith he's Hitch. only ever seen Hitch <laughs> yeah. Hitch and Focus, Focus. Yeah. oh what a film though and what's the one where he's a dating fella no, that's Hitch, Hitch. What the God, do you even know Will Smith, do, do Smith? Yeah. You don't even Hitch, Smith. Focus and you don't even know Free Will Smith Shawshank Redemption no that ain't got Will Smith before you yeah I was going to say I'm going to go Wolf of Wall Street yeah class Goodfellas yeah and probably like the third one Step Brothers maybe oh, like just, yeah, love just a good combo just yeah. a light yeah. hearted film I can nice. watch when I'm going to bed or something yeah I'm going to have to go Step Brothers Snatch Snatch is good and probably well not probably Goodfellas Goodfellas yeah good yeah. isn't it he's the guy love it this question was sent in by Jack Riley 03 you can talk with one artist who would it be who would you be Reese? um Oh, this is a hard one, yeah? Yeah, this is a tough one. Because you've got to think about it. Are you opening for them or are they... Yeah, so you're going on tour with... Yeah, you're going tour. Tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would probably go on... I'd do Kanye West. Yeah. I rate he's, that. He's going to be doing mad stadiums. I reckon, like, backstage would be mental. You're probably not getting... Mad visuals. You always do something a bit weird as well. Yeah. So I feel like you'd be buzzing to watch him. You'd probably be on private jets, mad tour buses. What, you think he's bringing you in? Mate, mate you're on with it, mate. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be doing hotels and fucking splitter vans yeah. still. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, Kanye West, I reckon. I think that'd be mad. Yeah, right, probably like, yeah, Arctic Monkeys would have been like, would have loved to, or would love to tour with him. That'd be sick. Yeah, Kanye would be sick. Uh, yeah, I'd say Arctic Monkeys. I'd like, I'd love to like chat with Alex Turner about like his early music and stuff like that as well. Do you know what I mean? Like writing yeah. them first few albums and stuff like that. I'd like. I'd, I'd love to do that. I'd love to chat to Kanye as well. Either or. Right, mixing up again, changing from the music. What superpower would you have and why? This time travel. E easy Whoa. for me. Time travel, straight in, yeah? 100%, mate. Yeah. 100%. What if you could only go f back or forward? What one would you do? I'd go back. I wouldn't want to go forward. I feel, like, go forward, I feel like we'll be... We'll be fucked in a, in a couple of years. <laughs> go, <laughs> going forward, right. you go, go forward, forward. You, go, you pop back, go forward. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> now, going back, we might, mate, you get to see how the pyramids are made. I would just pop back with a deck chair and a fucking and an old fashioned watching them do the pyramids. <laughs> like, oh, this is mad. Cigar. Cigar. Done it. Yeah, mate, you could think, think about all the things like you could find out if you went back in time. Yeah. You could put all the conspiracies to bed. You go forward, you come back, you're gonna go, oh, this is gonna happen. People be like, no, it ain't. What are you on about? Yeah. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, I I am with you. I wouldn't that wouldn't time be my travel, No, no, I wouldn't oh, do right. that, but I'd go back rather than yeah, yeah, yeah. forward. Uh mine would be Um teleportation. Yeah, yeah, yeah straight up. And you, if you could like, if you, if you like held up, <laughs> yeah, if you like held on to me, you, you could come yeah. with me as well. Oh, nice. Because imagine, yeah, you're just going, oh, fuck it, Dubai, yeah. bang, and you're there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah. beef, yeah. and then just get a, like 16 of the boys all in a group huddle. Yeah, all <laughs> yeah. yeah. that'd be mad. Bosh, yeah. What movie made you scared when you was younger? We're keeping on the movie Super Bowl. You said this other. Mine was AI. Yeah, that is a scary. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that, that was mean. rough with uh, Jude Law and what was the boy called? I can't remember the boy's name. It's the boy out of Sixth Sense. Yeah. My, by that the way, was scary. my my nan showed me Sixth Sense <laughs> when I was about six, <laughs> and I think I was about eighteen when I got over that. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking scared the life out of me. Yeah, that that, yeah. But that wasn't like for me a kids film that like my parents used to let me watch was a film called Witches, which is a Disney film. It's not animated or anything, and us it's, it's just been remade now with Anne Hathaway. Yeah. Um, but watch the original and tell me that it doesn't scare the fucking shit out of you <laughs> even now. My daughter's never watching that film, mate. I swear to God, it scares the life out mate, of me. Mate, you used to watch Blade with, with Dad when you was about yeah, three. Yeah, I know. What's the, what the fuck were the par my parents on when I was younger? Matrix what are you Revolution. Watching? Blade. Right. Yeah, just come and watch it. Yeah. yeah. What's that? It's a vampire. Yeah, but do you remember, like, I swear all of us had GTA when we was about nine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, mate, it was yeah. San Andreas. Remember when you were at school and you were like, playing GTA? And remember like, the other boys that had, like, sensible parents? And they were like, what, you can play GTA? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. I'm nine, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nine. I'm nine. What'd you expect? Got this for my birthday. What was yours, actually? You got one? I don't have a movie, Hitch. nah. Hitch it. Hitch. But I used to always have a recurring dream of. Do you remember Hey Arthur? Yeah. No, it was Hey Arnold, I think, wasn't it? No, Arthur was the. Arthur was the like the be little bear looking. Thing. Yeah, no, I'm about. Ar oh no, actually, I'm about Hey Arnold. Yeah. The geezer with the blonde hair. No, am I? Oh wait, wait let me the, show you. Get, them get the pictures up. This geezer here. No, definitely. Let's have a look. Him. 
I want that's about, Arnold. Oh. I want about Arthur. Yeah, I, don't, I recognise it. But I don't, and then this, never is, seen this is Arthur. What animal is he? And he always used to be... Like, my nan's got a bungalow. He always just been in the corridor with my bungalow and just chased me down there. Oh, fucking hell. Look, weird, yeah, Chaz, even and if this cunt caught you, mate, 20, he's not going to do, like, do much. Yeah, but imagine him standing at the end of the corridor. <laughs> Chasing you down. Like and I'm like, nah. And oh, that is like... That's quite I'm 26 now. I think it was two years ago. Yeah. Right, lads. This is from sam.jason.studio. And he has said, teach me something I don't know in the next five minutes. How am I meant to know what he knows? That's, that's very true. <laughs> but let's assume that he doesn't know a lot. <laughs> um, but it's also, it's not give him a fact. Maybe that could be, yeah, weird. give him a weird, and well, that's what we'll change it to. Sorry, Sam, I'm just assuming that we're going to change this question. To give him a weird and wonderful fact that you know that not many other people may know. I'll give you one. Go on enough. I'll give you one, Sam. Back to the pyramids, right? Oh, here we go. Have the pyramids. Okay, no. They built the pyramids, yeah, before the wheel was invented. And the blocks that they built the pyramid with are probably the size of this room right now. And there's no wheel. Explain how they've done that. They can't. That's literally the... Like, you can't. You can't. You can't. And that's why he'd fucking be a time traveller. <laughs> he might be a time traveller. Did you know, I think Steve Bruce scored 18 goals in one season. <laughs> from centre-back. Did it? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> is that f- are we? F- is that factual? Let me just let me just double check it before I start. <laughs> that is mad if it is. Yeah. Another thing as well, Stonehenge. They've done a test on the rocks, and the rocks are from Wales, and that was before the wheel was invented either. Yeah, so, so how are they, they getting them w- rocks from Wales to Stonehenge? Giants. Have you seen Bruce Giants. notched up an incredible nineteen goals. Oh my god! Whoa. All from his default position of centre back <laughs> in one season. Yeah, that is, that is good. Man, that's ridiculous. That's a good fact. Nineteen goals from a centre back. Is that? Who, who asked the question? Sam, Jason. Shuga. There you go, Sam. Have do you want me to tell you? My fact is: Do you know the most poisonous animal in the world? Daddy is long legs. Daddy long legs. Oh, come yeah, on, get, get, a good, get a good fact. Yeah, but Sam, Sam don't know that. He might. He, he don't. Might he definitely didn't know about Steve Bruce. No, he didn't. To be definitely fair. didn't know about. But Steve. yeah, that's that's something I can think of at the moment. Sienna Graydon yeah. has said, who would win in Eat the Most Weetabix competition? Oh, and an Eat Me. Like How many could you actually... I know we always have this conversation. If I say, tell her, like, competition, hour. An hour? You've got an hour. The thing is, with Weetabix, you've just got to bang them all out early doors because they're <laughs> sitting in your Soggy. stomach. Like, That's yeah. fine. And hour. when they dry out, they go, like, fucking cement. Yeah. In an hour? I reckon you get through 50. 50 in an hour? Is that a lot? Fuck off, Arv. You think that's too much? I reckon I'd be hospitalised. No, I don't... 50, mate, that's, that's like 50. All up. 50 Weetabix in an hour. Understand what you're saying. Oh, about 30. That's one, one How many every two minutes. How many is in a pack? 24. 24, yeah. I'm doing a pack easy. You reckon yeah, I, easy? Easy. easy. In an hour. Easy. But you think how long we're doing this I'll, podcast? I'll, that's 56 minutes. And you reckon you're doing 24 Weetabix? Mate, I reckon, I, I reckon I'll do 60. I one, think... One a minute. Six, one a minute. Oh, yeah, that's no a way. Bit. Too much? You've got to remember the milk. But also, no, what... What are, it depends how you how you done it, right? So <laughs> no, that's what you should do. Dry dry wheat a bit. No, oh, <laughs> no. dry wheat yeah, a bit. So listen, yeah. the best way to do it would be to have a load of milk in there. I'd mash it up, mash it up, and then you then it's just sort of liquid. It's I'm gonna liquid go load based. of milk and add one at a time. That's what exactly what I just said. Oh, you said mash <laughs> it up. Though. Yeah, yeah, but put it in there and just and just mash it up and then just do it one at a time like that. Bosh, bosh. Oh, bosh. so you literally yeah, eat the one. Bang, I want to do what, one. I want to do one at a time. I'll dunk it. Have really? a biscuit. I'd, 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 I'd put the whole packet in, mash it all up so it's all soggy. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. That would be hard, if it, if it was who's eating yeah. the most wheat, you have to get your Weetabix now, you get one bowl. How many can you put in and eat them all at once? You, and you have, you've got like a cent, 10 minutes, 15 minutes to finish. Yeah, I reckon right. five minutes. Wait, how five. many Weetabix? <laughs> <laughs> right. Five minutes. No, how many, no. you got 10 right, minutes. No, this you is got 10 question. minutes and a bowl of milk. How many can you eat? 10 minutes. Maybe we do it. Maybe we do it. Shall we do it? All right, go on. We'll do Outside of the podcast, we'll, we'll cut it down so you don't just see us We'll film it. it, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and we'll like do like a... We'll see how many it is. But yeah, we'll do a little sweep. Ten minutes. I like. reckon I could get probably eight. Now, what we'll do is we'll put it to the fans. The fans, you can predict every single one of us within ten minutes. Yeah, nice. And whoever gets bang on, half me and you, yeah. so they get bang on the numbers. All three. All three. Then they can go to your headline show, courtesy of you boys. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah? Do you like that? Harv's got a game on the, hat. They're yeah. on the guest list. They can have one, one, them and one other, if they get bang on how All many right. we eat, yeah? All right, fair play. And we'll film that. 
We'll film it and we'll just slap it up as a as a little as a little yeah. Real. So we'll as an as an intro for not the next podcast but the podcast yeah, after maybe. Exactly that. And yeah, put it in the comments down below. Who you think? All your numbers. Harv, myself, and Reese. Get them bang on. Quickly though. In. Let's all put our own numbers in there quickly. What do we reckon? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Oh, so, oh, let's do five minutes because I think ten minutes is quite long. Five minutes. Twelve. 12 in 5 minutes. Yeah. 12 in 5 minutes. That's more than 1 a minute. <laughs> Fucking psychopath. Fucking we can't shit. be filming nothing after though cuz he's going to be slumped. <laughs> Fucking hell. 12. I reckon in 5 minutes I reckon I could do I said I reckon I could do 8. I'm going to go for 10 in the middle. But you eat, you, you know, eat, how many normally? You have about 4 uh, then, you know? Yeah, about 5. We're allowed as much milk as we want as well, yeah. <laughs> There's no like, yeah, okay, but you you can have as much milk as you want, but you can't be leaving like they can't just be. No, bare no, but I'm thinking, you know, like when you have three normally. Yeah. How long does that take you? Eat? Fuck. Oh, I actually find it shit. I actually, I've well over twelve myself. <laughs> yeah, no, you, said well. you said it, Chess. No, I reckon you. I reckon you could do it. To be fair, five minutes is. He's going to be sick. Amount of time. But do you know the thing with Weetabix though is once they get to that consistency where you're eating them and you just you're almost gagging yeah, them like yeah. that. Oh, oh, they're actually horrible. Yeah, <laughs> they're <laughs> rotten. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, oh, right, cool. you, you've got to bang them out while they're still crunchy, but also like not. Too soggy. Mm. Right, well, comment. Pick up with your bits. Comment down below. Every, every time. And you need to make sure that you say it before we put it out. Don't start putting it out there when we've already put it out there. Comments down below. Competition time. How many yeah. wheat bits can we eat? Bosh. Marky Boy has said, what's the best scented candle? Fresh linen. 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 Fresh linen. I like, um, it's like a vanilla one from Ikea. You know that like Yankee candle? Oh, yeah. yeah. Fresh linen is called. That's, Decent. that's fucking 15 quid candle, that, mate. I do like a candle. Mm. I like a candle as well, I must admit. Good. Right, Josh <laughs> Eels, Josh underscore Eels, has said, gambling and saving. Talk. I've completely stopped betting completely. I'm not, I wasn't somebody that like gambled on the regs at all. Maybe doing ACA every weekend or a couple ACAs every weekend or like 10 or 15. I've got a fucking <laughs> <laughs> Nah. Um, yeah, I, might, I used to do like a, yeah, an ACA every weekend, I think, but I just completely st- I was like... Once off. I do you know you can check your uh, what you yeah, spent to what you lost? Good, I was like, ah, yeah. that's that's me. that doesn't really, really, it's not fair for me to be. Do you know what it is? Well, you're constantly chasing, like, with me, I'd, I'd lose like 10 pounds on a bet, and next week I'd go, right, I'm gonna put 20 quid on because I want to make yeah, it. Yeah, he don't win, but exactly the same thing. What you just said there, I looked at my win to loss ratio, yeah, yeah, and I'm like 500 quid down or something. Just stop, and then I, I thought, and then I thought. Because I'll just do what you've done, like 10 quid every week. Yeah. And you don't think nothing of it. And then you check it out, and I was like, fucking hell. And then I thought, Joe, you know what? I'm not even going to bother trying winning anything back. I just deleted all the apps. I don't even bet on Grand National or anything anymore. Nah. Nothing, mate. So I just think you're constantly chasing that. Yeah, you are, yeah. You know what I mean? I go for fits and starts. I have bad, bad times. You love it, innit? I do, I do like a bet. Um, but that's, that's the problem. Like Sometimes you see a bet and you're like, oh, I fancy that. And it'd be like three to one. Yeah. And you're like, what's I'm going to put a 10 on and I get 30 quid back? Yeah. You know, you're like, I, 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 wanna, I want the ones, you know, where it's like 120 to one. You're yeah. like, yeah, I want that. Because yeah, I, I, I want to bet once. I did a little, uh, little horses one. Did a little uh, lucky 15. Yeah. You like that one, innit? I do like a lucky 15. Yeah. And uh, I won three and a half grand for 30 quid. And we all went out on that, didn't we? Well, yeah. But that we is like, that, didn't we? Yeah. that, that is like, like, uh, one, like, uh, like a once in a lifetime. Yeah. yeah. But then you chase that. Because me winning like now from that after that, I was like, what, 20 quid win? Ah, that's yeah. And that's still 20 quid. Do you know what I mean? It's still a lot yeah. of money from putting whatever on. What about so, saving money? Saving money, I'm, I'm actually... Terrible. Uh, yeah, I'm so shit. And really? it's not it's not because I don't want to... Save. It's just because... I can't be bothered. No, not even that. With, like, just with life in general. Yeah. If you want to do the social activities you want to do, plus the overheads... You can't of, be saving. Like, bills and all that sort of stuff and everything like that, it's hard to save. Like, if I was like, lads, I'm not coming out for ages, I'm going to sit indoors and save. And then mm. obviously, Rachel's just, like, starting off her business, so there's a lot of outgoing for that at the moment. There's, like, a lot just in life of mm. outgoing. So I'd love to be able to be like, right, I'm going to save. save. I'll do a 50, 30, 20, yeah? 50% of what I get is, like, there for, like, bills and that. 30% I'll try and save, and 20% would be, like, what I want. Right, so, okay. I like, 20% I'll be, like, right, I want a pair of trains, I'm going to get them. In that fifty percent, I'd be like my all my like bills and that. Put a bit in there for like going out, but I try and save thirty percent. Yeah, no, nice. nice. I like that. I do the envelopes. What's that? Oh, so you like that's so. The if I got so like we're going to Ibiza in September, uh, I'm going to Portugal. Yeah. So as soon as I've booked that, mm. I'll do an envelope and I'll write on there. So roughly say that I wanted to take. I'm saying for example, say I want to take something like hundred pounds somewhere. Yeah. 
I would I would start saving monthly for that and and write down the envelope so like twenty five oh, cash. You know. So like for the Arbifa, I've set myself a, a price each month until we go, and each month I put that in the envelope and that's done. Where's that envelope it. in your ass? Yeah, <laughs> but you know what I mean because in that way, yeah. Instead of like a so week before yeah. we go Arbifa, going, yeah, it goes yeah. into like a little kitty then. And yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like a little kitty, and it's there. I've got like f- always have like five or six envelopes on the go. Okay, now he's yeah. he's a bit OCD, there, yeah. Right, if you had to be one person for one day, who would you be? Who did you say earlier? You said, did you say Kanye West? No, I said that when we done the Nura thing, oh, I said it'd be fun to be something like that. <sighs> Harvard wouldn't be running out, running out of Sullivan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. mate. Played a perfect game. Depends on the of the week. It says one person, one you day. You said Eddie Hearn, I like that answer. I did say Eddie Hearn. I like that. I but I'd like good. it on like a build-up to like an AJ fight or something. Yeah. Because if it was like Eddie Hearn, and he's just on the holiday with his missus for a, a day. That'd still be good, though. <laughs> um, but do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it has to be a specific, but I, I would yeah, like to be Yeah, you wouldn't, Eddie like, yeah. Yeah, just for, yeah. Just because I think he knows a lot of there's a lot that will go on behind the scenes that he knows about that none of us yeah. find out about. I like him. I think he's, he's a man in the know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know who I'd be to be fair. Yeah, that's a tough. That's a tough one. I don't know why I like overthink these questions a lot because mm. I'm thinking like it's fucking possible. A, pre- a president as well, because you know there's loads of stuff that like, like conspiracy theories that like you know like that Area 51 or whatever. Yeah. That's but like, if you was like the president, you know straight away well what's what's the crap what's going on, and then you go oh it's just what they said. <laughs> just what I nothing, said nothing's going on so that was, yeah. that was a way I could have yeah, so, been so Teddy Hearn yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll be Travis Scott he would be as you well like Travis Scott, I love him mate somebody, for, if you have one day you want somebody that's doing some mad shit yeah 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 cool. right, la- last question from the fans is if you had to describe yourself as a drink what would it be Oof. Harvard, I know what ours would be what Yours would be like a fucking Guinness. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Or just a cup of tea. Cup of tea. <laughs> cup of tea. Beige and classic. <laughs> uh, what would yours be? Uh, what did you say earlier? Long on, Island iced tea. Earlier. Come on. Long, no, he's right as well. I'll be a Long Island iced tea. Got it all. <laughs> Got it all. Got it all. Got a bit of everything. I said. Got everything. Yeah. Yeah. What would you be, Chaz? Uh, something boring. Yeah, that's bang on. Blue, <laughs> Milk. Blue Lagoon. Which is like <laughs> lemonade vodka and a bit of blue sprinkling. Yeah. Oh, you think something. you'd be alcoholic, dear? You think you'd be an alcoholic drink? I thought it'd be like 7 Up. Yeah, no, seven I thought up. it'd be bl- right. Blue Cat Milk. <laughs> J2R. Is that, a, is that a creamy one? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, it'd be the red yeah. one. No, it's like water. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> watery yeah. as fuck. Yeah. As uh, bland as anything. Yeah. yeah. Are you like, trying actually, to think of a drink you like, and yeah. that's what the thing is, yeah. I'd be a hot chocolate. Any reason why? Yeah, because just like, you have it when you're hot. No, 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 not even that. Just, just like, just have it when you're at home. <laughs> <I'm not in>. <laughs> <laughs> Put a film on, yeah, get your head down. I'd be mojito. I'd be a fireball. Any ex- <laughs> explanation? No. 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 Right. He, did his, his explanation about his fucking hot chocolate. <laughs> just yeah, when did. you're watching the film at home. <laughs> right, lads. There the question's done. And we're going to go to a quick fire question. <coughs> we're going to go half first. And then you're gonna answer straight after Reese, okay? I want so no. So wait, he's gonna go. It's gonna go. So if like I said, like bish bash bosh. Am I, doing all, like, am I doing all the answers? Then he does. No, all no, no, we're going one at a time. Okay, cool. And it is gonna be really quick. We're no. gonna get this in under a minute. You Are you ready? This bacon or sausage? Sausage. Bacon. Ketchup or brown sauce? Brown sauce. Ketchup. Pepsi or Coke? Coke all day. Pepsi. Really? <laughs> yeah. McDonald's or KFC? McDonald's. KFC. Really? McDonald's. KFC. really? Yeah. They're so, yeah. They're okay. so different. Messi or Ronaldo? Ronaldo. Ronaldo. MMA or boxing? Boxing. Boxing. Vodka or rum? Vod. Rum. East Coast, hip hop or West Coast, hip hop? East Coast. East Coast. Coast. Arctic Monkeys or Oasis? Oasis. Arctic Monkeys. Oh. <laughs> Ikea or Costco? Oh, mate. Uh, Costco. Costco. Tic Tacs or Polos? Polos? Polo. Predators or Copper Mondiales? Coppers. Coppers. Biggie or Tupac? Biggie. Big. Handshake or a Spud? I like a Spud at the moment. Yes, yeah, COVID and that. Yeah, hot or cold weather. Cold. Hot no, hot, 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 hot. Sorry. Hot. Night in or night out. Night in. <laughs> Are you sure. Night <laughs> <laughs> no, not out. Definitely night not night out. out all day. Chinese or Indian. <laughs> Indian. Yeah. Takeaway. Yeah. Vegas or Ibiza. Ibiza, not been Vegas. Yeah, it's got to be Vegas. Beer or cider. Beer all day long. Beer. Suit or tracksuit. Tracksuit. Suit. Theme park or water park? Water park. Theme park. Call or text? I'm a texter. Call all day. 
So what we're learning is you're the polar opposites. Yeah. <laughs> Skydive or bungee jump? Skydive. Yeah, probably. Horror or comedy? Comedy, yeah. yeah and okay. last but not least, stub your toe or stand on a plug? Stand, stand on a plug. plug. Stand on a plug. Definitely. Right, lads, thank you very much. That well was done, class. boys. That's we've got the questions done. done. We've got another episode done and we can promise that we're going to be more consistent, yeah? Yeah. Every week. Every, every week. Every Sunday. Every Sunday. We will be here, as what I time? said on the first everyone, to facilitate your needs. To facilitate your needs. <laughs> to facilitate Every your Sunday needs. at what? Six o'clock? Yeah. Six but p.m. Sunday. Also, we wanted the fans to get involved, yeah? Fans oh, yeah, to get yeah. involved, comment, like, tell comment. us what you can see from the boys. Yeah. Next week is all... Are we going to say what next week is about? I reckon we, we keep it a surprise. Keep what? it a surprise, just in case we did what we did with the first one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just in case there's <laughs> no, there's we no might second. Be back for no a few pressure. Yeah. No yeah, pressure. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Nice one, lads. All right, boys. Sweet as. Wicked. Bosh.